In an earlier video, I showed you how to back up your N8N workflows and credentials to GitHub. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, restore them from GitHub into a fresh instance of N8N. So if we look here, I've got a fresh instance of N8N. I put it on DigitalOcean, but it doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, as you can see here, I have no uh, workflows. And if I click here, I have no credentials. So uh, in the description, I'll have links to a uh, couple of things you're going to need. And uh, the, there are these two things right here. Restore your credentials from GitHub and then restore your workflows. So let's start with the credentials. And to do this, we're going to go to use for free. Click on that. And I'm going to take the top one, which says copy template to clipboard. Now that's in my clipboard. I'm gonna to go to N8N, create a workflow, and I'm gonna paste it in. And then we need to update uh, a few things here. So we're gonna start with uh, the globals and I'll open that by double clicking. <clears throat> and you wanna change these three things. So beyond Space Studio, that's just the default uh, from the person who created this template. I'm going to replace that with my GitHub username. And then in the prior uh, video, we had N8N backups uh, with an S at the end, but whatever you called your uh, repo, just punch that in here. And then I also used credentials in the last video. So if you're following along on the, uh, the prior video, you'll have something that looks like this. So this is my GitHub. So Donovan Watts, that's my username. And it in backups, that's my repo. And then I put the credentials and credentials folder and workflows in the workflows folder. So with that, we have uh, these three values uh, filled out. Now let's move over to the next node, get all files in a given path. And so what you have to do here is you're going to have to um, choose a GitHub um, API. And if you don't, uh, you, you won't have that because this is a fresh instance. So I'm going to do create new credential. Again, put your GitHub username and you're going to need an access uh, token. And you can refer to um, the prior video to show you how I did that. Um, or you can just Google it. But basically, I'm going to copy my token here and hit save connection tested successfully, so that's good. So now I've got that wired up. Then we're gonna go down to this GitHub node, double click on that. And again, we have to change these things here. So I'm gonna put my GitHub username, repository name, and I'm gonna put the S at the end. And that should be all you need for that. And then the final thing you need to do is on this node here. So if I double click into this, we need an N8N credential. So right now I'm just going to click on new credential. Uh, well, I actually need the um, information for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to go down to these three little dots on next to my name on N8N. Go to settings. We'll go to N8N API. And uh, I act this, actually, I have this one from, uh, from earlier. Let me just uh, delete that so you won't have anything in here. So I'm going to create an API key. I'm just going to call this N8N. I'm going to make it never expire. I'm going to hit save. And I'll, I'll delete this when I'm done with the video. Uh, but, and and you'll, you don't want to ever share this with anybody. Uh, but you're going to click to copy. Then we're going to go back into our node here. We're going to say create new credential. And we're going to paste that API key in. And then under base URL, you can see it says, you know, it's got a kind of the, the outline of what, what the structure should look like for the base URL. Um, and so I've put that over here on my uh, notes. I'm just going to paste that in to here. And what I did um, is uh, in my um, domain registrar, uh, I 
I, I created a, an A record for a subdomain, a subdomain called N8N. So n8n.okcomputer.foo, that's the address uh, that I access my um, N8N. So yours will be different, whatever your subdomain is that you've configured to point to your N8N instance, um, or just whatever, whatever your N8N instance is, you just put it here. I'm going to hit save. Okay, green connection tested successfully, so that's good. I'm going to close this and close that. I'm going to save this. I'm going to give it a name, um, import credentials, credentials. And we should be good to go. And then, But before I do this, let me just... Uh, show you once again under credentials. So I've got uh, the uh, GitHub, that, which I uh, had to create in order to retrieve the information. And then N8N, that's just your API key for uh, for this to work. So I'm gonna go to import credentials and let's do execute workflow. It's doing its thing. Getting everything from there, restoring. Now I've I'm, I've got this uh, problem in Node restore NADN credentials. So one thing is not coming through on mine. I'm not quite sure what that is. So if anybody watching this has an idea what that is, let me know. But if I dismiss that and I go over to Overview, and I go to Credentials, now you can see those are all my credentials that were uh, stored away on GitHub. So that worked out well. And then in the, in the uh, next uh, section of this video, I'll show you how to restore your workflows from GitHub. All right, now that we've restored our credentials, let's restore our workflows. So in the description, you'll find a link to this page here with a template called Restore Your Workflows from GitHub. I'm going to click on Use for Free. I'm going to copy the template to the clipboard, go to my fresh N8N instance, and I'm going to create a workflow, and I'm going to paste. And then we want to go through, kind of like we did in the first part, we're going to edit, we're going to start with the globals and edit those. So I'm going to put in my GitHub username, make sure it's the proper repo name, n8n-backups with an S at the end, and workflows is the uh, folder. Let's just make sure, yep, workflows right there. Okay, so now we're going to do, back out of that, we're going to go into here and we're going to make make sure it says so i have different um github um apis here but i i um i want to use let's see i think i don't know i think it's this one we'll see and then this one here we want to change these values your your github username and your repository name Let's back out and then restore. We want to make sure that you choose N8N account, which is probably the only one that you have. And I'll back out. Now, all these look good to me. So let's try it. The only one I'm unsure of is if I selected the proper um, GitHub account here. Let's just try, uh, well, these two. So I'm, I'm going to go with GitHub API, GitHub API. So let's see if... Uh, so yeah, and on this on this um, GitHub uh, node as well, make sure that you you select your uh, credentials as well as making sure that these values are correct. So let's try it. Execute workflow. Looks like it's working. Fifty two items. That looks about right. Okay, restoring them. And then let's go. So yeah, again, I'm getting a problem in Node uh, here, but um, if I dismiss that and I just go to Overview and I look at my workflows, you can see I've got all the workflows uh, restored from uh, GitHub ready to go. So if you are watching this and you know what that error is that I'm getting, I haven't been able to figure out what that error is because everything I've restored from credentials and workflows looks good to me. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching.